We definitely do sort our brass kind of like this box of yellow brass you see right here behind me, but we don't sort things quite as thoroughly as we used to. We're basically making a clean yellow brass, a clean red brass, a brass shells, a brass shavings, and then two different dirty or irony brass packages. Let me show you. So this is a yellow brass box that we're currently filling up next to our non-ferrous scale, and I have a couple full ones in the back I'll show you in just a second. But basically, this is all of our clean yellow brass. We do not sort out any of the silver or tin plated. We used to do that a long time ago, but it seemed that it wasn't bringing any sort of price difference, so we started mixing it all back together. And then you have stuff like the sprinkler heads, which you'll see in our red brass. The old ones are a higher copper content, so we put those in the red brass, and then the newer stuff is just in the yellow. And then this is a bucket of brass I showed you the other day that came in mixed. We still have not fully sorted it, but basically we have the brass shavings, which will be a grade of their own. And we do purchase some that are all one certain alloy from machining companies, but we also have a mixed brass turnings box, which those will go in. And then this is a red brass box that we're currently filling up. The reason we keep the red brass separate from the yellow is because it has a higher copper content and is worth more. Some of this stuff could still be sorted further, like these water meter bodies. If you had a full load of those, they would probably bring a little bit of a premium. But for us, it doesn't make sense for us to sort it any further than this. And then this is a box that we're filling up of brass shell casings, and that's exactly what they are. So they're all old ammo cartridges, and we have to keep these completely separate from the yellow brass because certain countries and certain mills do not want brass shell casings. So here's another box of yellow brass. When these boxes are full, they weigh about 2,000 to 3,000 pounds. And we're selling this package as a clean yellow brass with up to 2% contamination. And then here's another box of red brass and it weighs about 4,000 pounds. And then another box of yellow brass that weighs about 2,600 pounds. So there's a quick little tour of how we sort our brass. Like I said, we could sort it a little bit further, but with the amount of brass that we're handling, it doesn't really make sense for us. But your local yard may be sorting it a little bit differently or a little more thoroughly than we are.